Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Virgo friends and friends of Virgo. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So, <clears throat> Virgo, hello, hello. I missed you guys. Thank you for your patience and getting your next reading out here. Um, so I do have a little bit of message that came through in meditation. Uh, we'll pull some oracle cards, excuse me, and then we'll get into the tarot as we do. So um, just a couple things came out um, as I was meditating on your energy, Virgo. Um, destiny actually came through. Destiny and then um, destitute actually is kind of how it was um, vacillating. So <clears throat> I kind of get this feeling that there is... Um, like uh, there's, uh, there's the pursuit of destiny, um, but maybe this feeling of uh, destitution on top of that, something getting in the way of you pursuing what you uh, feel like is your path or you want to be your path. Because there is a large portion of us being here that is connected to what we want to do here. Um, even with what we decided to do before we came here there is this faded life or destined life that we are working to move into but we still have free will to decide what it is that we want to do while we're here too so i'm just kind of getting this um like there's a hang up somewhere fabric is something that came in as well when thinking about weaving fabric or uh, creating some sort of textile that's kind of what i'm getting is this dance between uh, moving forward towards what I want to do and then there's something that's in the way like um, um, a lack of something or um, mindset something comes up you know um, the world is the way that it is um, yeah let's keep moving forward so that was um, the first part of it the second part of it I thought this was interesting because I haven't heard this song for a long time but it's a uh, it's a Celtic song, and um, it's in English and in Gaelic. So it's called uh, Shula Rule, and um, it's not spelled anywhere near. If you know anything you know about Gaelic, it's not spelled the way that it sounds. Um, but I wanted to read a few of the, or a couple of the lines here, just to give a little bit of the context. So it starts off by saying, I wish I was on yonder hill. It's there I'd sit and cry my fill until every tear would turn a mill. And then it goes into a part in Gaelic, but it means, and may you go my darling safely. So it's, um, the song is about essentially like parting ways with somebody that there's a great amount of love for, um, either passing or, um, or leaving this experience with you. So I do feel like maybe there is something that's happened. Maybe there's a person in particular that you've had to say goodbye to, or maybe this person is uh, this destiny factor, right? Um, something that you have wanted to pursue and maybe maybe you feel that you're at a point where you need to say goodbye to that. Let's get into it a little bit further, okay, you guys? I'm hoping for a nice hopeful message surrounding that. I know things are really hard right now for a lot of people. And I know it's hard to say goodbye to things that we don't wanna say goodbye to, so. Um, I'm gonna shuffle, this is the archetype Wild Unknown Archetype deck. I feel like there are two cards we want to pull here. What do we have for Virgo, please, Spirit? What do we have for Virgo? I have been pulling these off camera, but I decided to just do it on camera. The Forest comes through first. That kind of makes me think of... Um, like, not being able to see the forest through the trees kind of thing. There is a... A perspective uh, hang up or issue and the hunter okay so the forest and the hunter um, I like this actually this makes sense so the forest like I said this is uh, what's coming through for me on this is that perspective thing like are you able to see the entire forest or are you too close to one of the trees there's there's a time for each portion of perspective I feel like and right now I feel like spirit is encouraging you Virgo to maybe step back a little bit to see the bigger picture on something or to see another path through something um, the hunter here so I feel like this is this is you this is representatory, representatory of you right now the hunter is essentially someone who's pursuing something um, so like I said in meditation that could be a person, maybe there's a, a person that uh, you've had to say goodbye to and you're still 
somewhere in your experience are trying to pursue that or trying to find them, whether they're still here or not. I feel like you don't have access to this person, no contact situation, or maybe they passed. I also feel like this person could be a pursuit, like I said, something that you feel is a dream of yours or has been a dream, a goal for a long time. So with the hunter coming out, I don't feel necessarily that it is. Maybe you need to kind of switch paths. Maybe you need to switch the way that you are experiencing it or looking, looking at the situation. The hunter encourages us to ask ourselves, what is it that we're hunting? Why are we hunting it? And is the weapon that we're holding on to in this hunt the weapon that we really need? So a lot of energy coming through here surrounding some shifts, you guys. I love that actually. Let's move out of um, let's move out of maybe where that feels a bit yucky. I get that it's not something that's we're gonna totally be able to throw away. We do need to process through things, but I feel like with this coming through, there's a strong encouragement to start that process of shifting the way that you are thinking about something, the way that you're viewing something, so that the things around you can start to shift too so that you can start to plant a little bit differently to start to create, maybe fill in those spots in the forest where there has been devastation, like a fire, is what I'm seeing coming through there. Maybe you're someone who's ignoring those spots where there has been a fire because it's just too hard to look at. Um, it's not something I feel like you need to pitch a tent in that portion of your forest but it is still a portion of your forest and it's okay to love that part too. That will regrow, okay? I do feel um, called to pull an Urban Crow Oracle as well. We'll do one card for Virgo, please, Spirit. What does Virgo need to know right now? That's not one card. <laughs> Exposed, okay. Um, yeah. I feel like this is exactly how you're feeling right now. Maybe there's something coming up to yourself, like I said, with the perspective shift, with the hunter asking these questions to dive a little bit deeper. Maybe you're feeling a little bit exposed even to yourself and you don't want that. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't feel comfortable. You're like, nah, <laughs> not right now. And that's totally understandable. Um, I don't feel like you need to expose yourself, like flay yourself open for any reason. Maybe there is something that's trying to come up that you do need to see. So shifting this perspective is requesting, um, requesting that you see whatever this is that is coming up. And I am gonna pull an animal card here at the beginning rather than the end. So last Oracle card here for Virgo, please spirit. Snake, I am actually gonna read this here in the book. Coming full circle here is something that stands out. I feel like whatever um, whatever the meditation, the Shula rule is, is referring to for you guys, I feel like this is something that, I mean, we're constantly spiraling up or we're spiraling down. We're, we're learning new things about our situation or we're regressing, right? That is the spiral. I think um, this is something though that you're not seeing in the cycle. Like it's preventing you from moving to that next level upward. Uh, as I can't even find this in the book, I th feel like that's a message too. <laughs> you guys are, maybe you're searching, maybe you're searching for this thing, but you're having a hard time actually finding it. Let's just see, oh, that's why. <laughs> was looking in the wrong section. Maybe you're looking in the wrong section. I'm brought back to the hunter with that. Um, is the tool that you're using the tool that you need to be using for this part of your hunt, for this part of your life? Maybe not, maybe it's time to change tools. So the snake, guardian of unawakened magic and creative potential, oh yeah. The snake is a symbol of our highest potential. It is said that Shakti, our creative life force, lies dormant at the base of our spine in the form of a coiled snake. Regardless of whether this image rings true for you, it's well worth considering the amount of unawakened or untapped potential within. 
What would life look like if you woke it up? How can you stir it from slumber? An experienced yoga or meditation teacher can lead the way. Make haste. The snake card appears when there is no more time to waste. So in balance, prosperous, creative, and charismatic. Out of balance starts and stops many things to bring into balance kundalini yoga and meditation. If you're not meditating, I highly encourage you guys to start. Start small. Start with five minutes in the morning. Start with one minute. You know what I mean? Start with uh, just paying attention to the need in your day to day and responding to that with action rather than maybe guilt or shame. I'm not doing this. I should be doing this. You know what I mean? Uh, you don't need to be sitting down for 30, 60, 90 minutes at a time trying to solve the problems of the world in your first <laughs> meditation session. And honestly, that's not that's not the goal anyway. This is about you. Meditation is a time to listen. Intentions and prayer are when we're putting energy out um, as, as our part, playing our part as manifestors in this life. So I'm getting a need to listen, okay? I feel like there is a message that's coming through for you guys, but there may be some difficulty in hearing it right now because there is a focus on what's been lost. There's a focus on what it is that you're not achieving. And as a Virgo, I'm Virgo rising, Virgo moon. I feel that. <laughs> I, I totally get that energy. But um, that can be really destructive to us. We can be really hard on ourselves, <laughs> hold ourselves to impossible standards. So I feel like this is a good time to um, start again. Fool is what came out here. It's time to start a new journey. Throw the rules out the window here. Whatever hasn't been working, I feel like, yeah, if it's not working, let's try something new. As I was shuffling this deck earlier, the world did fall out. So I get this feeling of there's a, a big opportunity for completion of something and, and misery is what's coming through and thinking about that an opportunity to put the misery to rest maybe what role are you playing in your own life as far as misery goes are you keeping yourself there by being hard on yourself or not allowing yourself to meditate maybe this is what's trying to be exposed here okay so this is the phantasma 1234 on the timer there one two three four making progress you guys this is the Phantasma um, Tarot. I don't know why I blanked there for your first deck. So Spirit, what do we have here for Virgo? And huge shout out to my channel members, you guys. Hello. Thank you for your love and support. If you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, you can click the join button next to the subscribe button under this video, or there's a link in the description of the video as well. And I do have private readings open and available. You can check that out on app. At on on my website the link is in the description of this video as well all right let's get into it two pentacles here at the bottom so this is your um, hopes and dreams balance you guys I do feel like this is absolutely crucial right now it's a part of what you want or you're hoping for because maybe you've been feeling out of balance for quite some time Maybe you've been pursuing something, like I said, with the hunter in the wrong way. And so it's taking its toll on your psyche. You're not achieving what it is that you want to be achieving. And it's an issue of balance. You're hoping for more balance between work and play, between rest and the energy that you're exerting. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is the Lightseer's Tarot. We'll use for your second deck. Spirit, what do we have here for Virgo? A Virgo, Virgo, friends. This is a general message, you guys, so please keep that in mind. Um, you are intelligent. Duh, obviously. Use your head, heart, and intuition, please, to decipher which messages are for you. And feel free to re leave the rest behind. Check out your rising moon Venus, any other major placements in your chart. We do have every sign in our chart. They do represent all of the archetypes of being human. <laughs> So feel free to check out more um, for a more complete picture of what's going on in your story at this time. So Queen of Pentacles here at the bottom. This is your fear aversion. 
Um, Queen of Pentacles is about choices. She does leave a li live a life of luxury and opulence, but she makes a decision to do so. She makes the decisions that need to be made in order to procure that life, to live that life. It's a very strong earth energy as well. I feel like there is, um, there is a request to ground a little bit better. Okay, Virgo, if you're not feeling grounded, take the time to ground. But being in your fear aversion here, I do feel like there's a fear of uh, both making decisions, like I kind of get this feeling that you're in a place where um, you may not be happy with where you are right now and you're going, well, I don't know what choice to make or I'm the one who made the decisions to get myself here. Maybe there's some issues of trust surrounding making the right choice for yourself. Or if a life of luxury or comfort or opulence is, is even possible for you. I do know that it is, okay? There are many factors that go into how we're manifesting and it can be tricky because it is so simple. We do overthink it a lot of the time and human emotion gets in the way, right? Right. <laughs> okay, so general message here to start. You guys have three of wands. This is about your expansion. This is about your movement. So I feel like... Um, this is, um, this is making the decision to move and taking the chance on an opportunity for a new path. I feel like this is exactly what you guys are looking for. What I'm getting from this on so this card, this stout, I think it is, is looking up to the moon and that bat up there. What I'm getting from this is there's kind of like a, a pining or a wishing for this freedom that the bat is experiencing. You're seeing maybe somebody else's experience. They're flying high. That's where you want to be. And there's a feeling of maybe you're feeling less than because you're comparing yourself to somebody else. I feel like it's really important to step away from that kind of behavior if that is you. If you have the energy to uh, look at other details of other, other people's lives in that way, start turning it inward, using that energy towards yourself to start figuring out what is it that I need to do to uh, participate, to throw my whole ass <laughs> into my own journey, okay? I feel like there is, for, for those of you that are needing assistance or help, there is help that's available that's on the way, okay? I feel like there is a need to believe that, to know that as well. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, Nine of Wands comes through here next. So Knight of Wands, this is, uh, I feel like there is a need for more fun, you guys. More creativity, a little bit more spontaneity. Uh, you don't have to go crazy, of course. There is a caution with the Knight of Wands to not go crazy, okay? Don't be too crazy. But um, to get back up and try again. Get back up on the horse here and try again. Having that horse imagery here in the Hunter as well, I love that. I'm, I don't feel like, so for some of you, I do feel like there is a need to change the pursuit, to change the weapon that it is that you're using here in this pursuit. For others of you, I feel like maybe you don't. Re you're the only one who can really figure that out with your own journey, your own path here. I think that's why Snake is coming through with meditation. You have to participate in your own life here. No one can tell you what's best for you either. So for some of you, I feel like this, there is an encouragement like um, keep going at something. If this is a dream of yours, especially if this is a dream of yours that you've been pursuing and maybe you're getting knocked down, maybe it just seems like everything is, is getting in your way, please realize that when we start to pursue something that is outside of our norm, our ego is gonna step in and try to shut that down. That includes manifesting situations that try to shut that down. So please realize that that is exactly what's happening. It's not a sign from God, it's not a sign from the universe that you shouldn't be doing something. It's actually quite the opposite. If you're going through shit right now and you're pursuing a dream, keep going, that means you're on the right track, okay? If it's a dream of yours, it's a dream of yours. You get to decide what your destiny is, okay? 
All right, so good stuff here in your situation. Yay, oh yay, the sun comes through. I love that, uh, I'm getting all the chills on that actually. I love that right after what I just said. That, that makes, that is like some very strong confirmation for me, okay? Um, makes me feel a little bit emotional actually. <laughs> if you guys are pursuing something that really matters to you and things are getting in the way, keep going. Don't let those get in the way, all right? And I know that there's every reason and there's every excuse to say, but, but, but this, but that, but that, but nothing, okay? <laughs> you have to let the sun in. We can close the blinds and it can be sunny, sunny as shit outside. We have to make the decision to allow that in. If this is something that matters to you, keep going, okay? Anything outside of that, I, I love this coming through in the positive spot. The sun, positivity, good news, abundance, joy, happiness. Okay, I feel like um, things are going to start shifting here soon if they haven't already for you. I know things are tough right now in general. Collectively, I know I've been feeling it too. Just that collective energy coming through. Don't let that... Um, don't let that rain on your parade, okay? So justice comes through here to clarify your good stuff here with the sun. Balance and fairness, you guys. I feel like uh, for some of you, if there is a, a legal something going on, especially with the sun here, I love to see that. I feel like that is good, a good outcome, okay? Fortuitous outcome. I feel like though for this fairness, um, this fairness and this balance as well to prevail, there is a need, I'm being brought back to Shula Rule in, um, in meditation, there is a need to allow yourself to move past that hill where you're crying your fill, okay? There's nothing wrong with crying. Trust me, if you've been here for a minute, you've probably seen me cry <laughs> several times. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, but, uh, and in fact, it's important to release that kind of pressure. But when we get in those spots and we allow that to become circuitous and stuck in our head, and then we start thinking, you know, oh, I lost this and that also, I'm also single and, you know, I lost my dog. And, uh, of course that makes sense. Like everybody leaves me. If you start to go down this path of spiraling on everything that's negative for yourself, you're going to have a bad time. <laughs> so I feel like this is just encouragement to, to have balance and fairness prevail. You also have to play a part in that, okay? Just like with the sun, you have to open the blinds. But this is here for you. I love that. Don't give up and open the blinds, okay? So what is in the, yeah, what is in the dark here? What you may not see at this time? What needs to be exposed? You have the Eight of Swords. So Eight of Swords, like I was just saying, I feel like there's an echo with the cards, um, with that spiral in the mind. Eight of Swords, this is totally Gemini energy. This is getting stuck in the mind. It's a trap of the mind. You may feel trapped, you may feel stuck, but it's not the case. There is a way through. The way through is by making the decision to first of all, pay attention to what's going on as far as patterns for yourself? Is this you? Do you find yourself going down these spirals? If that's the case, this is what's asking to be exposed. That's not the tool to hunt with anymore. Anxiety and ego, okay? And I'm not saying anxiety can just be shut off. Um, I totally understand anxiety as well. And I also know that there are tools, okay? We have to make the decision though to reach for those tools. So what you don't see here, what's in the dark, is your own anxiety causing you to feel stuck. You aren't actually stuck, and there is a way through. This is clarified by Queen of Wands. Love that. So I get this message of confidence, you guys, okay? Who said, what's coming through is who said, uh, is it Selena Gomez? Who said, you can't be the best? who said, who said, I can't remember all the words right now, but it's basically like, who said you can't do this or that? Um, whether you can or can't, it's up to, it's up to you, really. Whatever you believe, that's true, right? So the Queen of Wands, this is about 
confidence. It's about authenticity, being authentic with yourself and your own path and your own choices and what you want to do there. You're being asked or what you don't see underneath this is the confidence, you tapping into, I'm going to do this because I want to do it, damn it. <laughs> she has a black cat here, is considered bad luck in the tarot. But she has a, a black cat anyway, because it's her favorite, all right? Turn towards the sun here, and that will illuminate your path through this Eight of Swords. Mumbo Jumbo, okay? I also see that flame in her hand there. Uh, there's a need to tap into your inner spark again. What do you feel passionate about? If you're not sure about that, if you're struggling to... Maybe things have shifted. Maybe the things that you were passionate about in the past are not what you're passionate about now. That's okay. It's okay for things to change. It's okay for parts of the forest to be burned down. There's a natural process with that where the pine cones are opened because of the heat and pressure to grow back. I feel like there's an, a bit of like faith that's required right now too that things are growing, okay? You may not be exactly where you want to be right now, but that doesn't mean that you should continue to trap yourself just because you're not seeing the progress that you want to see right now. Tap back into your original dream here, okay? And if, like I said, if you don't know what you are passionate about or what your dream is, now's the time to figure it out. You've got nothing but time while you're here to figure that out, okay? So your challenge or obstacle at this time, you guys have Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> Yeah, so this is, um, this is expansion. It's also, it can symbolize a need to um, put energy into motion or to pause. So you may be on either side there. Maybe you're stuck here in the Eight of Swords. I feel leaning into that a little bit more since the Eight of Swords is here. If you're feeling stuck, there is a need to get moving, okay? The more that you stay in one spot, the more that energy has nowhere to go. A body in motion stays in motion, right? That goes for our goals, our dreams, our desires too. But the, uh, the Knight of Pentacles is, is somebody who makes a plan. Slow and steady wins the race, okay? And I feel like this is the difficulty for you. Maybe somewhere inside you understand that things are going to take some time and that's not what you want. Um, sometimes that's just the way that it is, right? Especially when you're rebuilding or rewiring certain parts of the way that you think, okay? It takes time. But slow and steady wins the race. Doing this very quickly does not necessarily mean that change will last, okay? But by doing this in a dedicated pace, you will see sustained change, okay? Okay. <laughs> totally. So it's just clarified by the sun. Like I was saying in the sun with the good stuff here, the sun is the most positive card in the tarot deck. Happiness, joy, abundance, positivity, success, exuberance, new life. The hard part about it for you guys right now is opening the blinds. What does that look like in, in outside of a metaphor sense? Being open to receiving, okay? Being open to something changing for the better. Watching the way that you're speaking to yourself. Are you speaking constant negativity into your life? Oh, well, this always happens to me. No wonder, of course, this again. That, that kind of behavior, that kind of speech to yourself is closing the blinds, okay? So checking yourself on that, those words that are keeping you stuck in this Eight of Swords moment is opening the blinds. And it doesn't have to change overnight and it won't. That's why the difficulty with the Knight of Pentacles is here. This is gonna take some time to move that through. And that's okay. That's okay, Virgo, there's no race, okay? All right, Virgo, I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for joining me here. I hope this was helpful. I'm going to move into the extended now. If you want to join me there, there are links in the description of the video. Um, personal readings are open. Like I said, if you want to check that out, please like, share, comment, subscribe. If this reading resonated with you, I truly appreciate it. 
In the extended, I'm gonna go into direct messages from your higher self, love and advice, career and advice, and what's most likely being manifested for you based on your thoughts and emotions. I do have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description if you feel called to tip or donate. I truly appreciate it. It does go a long way, and thank you guys so much to those who do support the channel in that way. Okay, Virgo, I'll see you all soon. Please take care of yourself. You got this. Be well.